Welcome. Thank you for everybody uh, showing up today on this uh, beautiful day, and thank you for the people sitting in the overflow room. We appreciate that. I'm Steve Finnerty. I'm going to give you a very brief overview along with Logan in terms of what we're talking about today, and then we're going to turn it over to Ken Crawford, who's going to talk about the economy, as he usually does, and there's a lot going on there, a little more volatility this year. And then Ying and Scott are going to try to debate the tariff issue. Uh, which, as we told the group yesterday, is a hard thing to debate because the rules are changing day to day, hour to hour um, with the headlines. But we uh, have a debate on that. And then John will try to process all that information and turn it into something logical and show you how that affects our stock selection process and how it's all working out. It's actually been a pretty good year this year. It doesn't feel like it, but it's actually been pretty good. A lot of that's in the last couple of weeks. And we want to thank the market for timing its move for right before. Uh, we had this activity here, um, but if you're in the large cap growth, which most people are that are in here, you're up over 8% this year net, which is, you know, if we were here three weeks ago, you'd be up 1%. So that gives you an idea of how much the market's moved in the last month. Um, if you're in the small cap product, you're up 5%. If you're up in, in high dividends or in the mid cap, you're up 2 But again, relatively, all those numbers are pretty good. It's, a, it's an interesting year. Growth stocks, as we'll talk about, the technology-related things are doing great. The more boring Procter & Gamble's of the world and things, a lot of them are flat to, to down this year, so it's a very bifurcated market that we have out there. We have a low budget for sound effects, but that's about as good as it gets. There are a lot of good things going on at Argent. One is we have our 20th anniversary coming up in a few weeks, actually. Um, so time goes by. We'll talk about that in a minute. We survive. We've also been investing a lot in people lately. We're growing the firm, and, and that we've had some new hires, and we're just going to mention it because um, it is big news for us. Uh, Mark um, Keplinger joined us. He's our chief operating officer. That's a position we've been, John and I and Ken and others, been looking for for a long, long time to get the right person. He's got a lot of industry experience dealing with the state of Missouri and Illinois and summit strategies and things. So he's a big, big hire. If you haven't met him, he's here. He was roaming around. Introduce yourself afterwards. Lindsey Jones took over from Danny to do these type of slide presentations and marketing and things like that, which is a big part of our business. And it's not that easy to throw these things together. Danny had the nerve to retire on us to raise her children, which is a little outrageous. But um, <laughs> Lindsay has stepped in and, as you will see, done a remarkable job. Denise Perriman, we hired very recently. She just joined us. She's director of institutional sales. Most of you are in here because you're what we call a high net worth client, but we also manage a lot of money for endowments and retirement plans and things, and those come through consultants, and her job will be to develop that. It's too bad she's not here today. She's one of those, she brings a party when she comes. I mean, she is a, she is a fun, fun person to be around. And then Joe Schultz, we told the people yesterday, he's our third cheese head in the group. So University of Wisconsin has a terrific securities analysis program, really one of the very best in the country. And we hired Ken, and just, who came out of that program originally. And despite that, we've hired two other people out of that program also. And Joe's our most recent one uh, doing investment research, and he's doing great. 20 years ago, Argent started. You know, these old photographs are painful, but you know, there's Scott and Ken. And <laughs> when I was younger, my wife used to say, oh, you're such a stud. And now I look at this, and I realize she was lying to me. Um, <laughs> but. A lot happened 20 years ago that's kind of interesting. Viagra was introduced 20 years ago. <laughs> Google started 20 years ago. 800 or so billion dollars later of market cap. I mean, it's really a remarkable story. Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire had a little home run battle going 20 years ago. The Titanic was a big movie, and then we had Argent started. That was the other big deal that particular. <laughs> Year. One of the fun things that, that happened at that time, we really did have no money. So John and I were trying to figure out how to come up with a name, which for those of you that have started a business, is not so easy because most names are taken. So to find one that actually works is not easy. So we offered $200 to all our friends and business associates. And Jane Heine came up with the name Argent, which if you Google it or look up in the dictionary, it means silver or money and things like that. So she, she won the prize. One of the interesting things that we've noticed lately is there's infomercials going on with another name that we were considering. What if you had purchased Apple stock before the launch of the iPhone? What if you had bought Amazon before it was the only place people shopped? At Hindsight Financial, you don't have to wonder how rich you could have been, because we'll show you. In frustrating detail, our advisors will walk you through every single opportunity you missed. We'll even show you luxury items you could have acquired if you'd only invested before things took off. 
the trappings of wealth and distinction that could have been yours if you just listened to your co-worker's tip. I'm telling you, man, buy Bitcoin. I don't think so. How do you have this? Hindsight is not just 2020. It's also incredibly frustrating. Let us show you how many years earlier you could have retired, how little you'd owe in college loans. Nothing. And meet the spouse you could have traded up to. Oh, the life you would have had. It's almost too much. And what's our fee? The very low commission of just 10% of every dollar you would have earned had you invested. It's a small price to pay to see the car you would be driving to the mansion you'd have built on the island you could have owned. Hindsight Financial. Coulda, shoulda, woulda.